This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Hello and welcome to Unboxing. Today I'd like to introduce you to the BZE 40-inch selfie stick tripod with Bluetooth wireless remote. Upgraded 2-in-1. Selfie stick and tripod in one. Made of aluminum alloy construction supporting stands. Corrosion resistance, it will not rust. More fashion, more convenient. More peerless durability. Lightweight and compact design. Only 8 inches folded in size and 7 ounces in weight. The selfie stick tripod can be extended between 10.8 to 40 inches. You can take it anywhere, making it the perfect item for travel, sports activities, camping, family gatherings, FaceTime, business, and much more. Bluetooth Selfie Stick Tripod Built-in rechargeable Bluetooth remote. The range of the wireless connection can be up to 10 meters and is compatible with most smartphones. Adjustable angle and rotatable phone holder. 7 sections telescoping stick with 40 inch maximum length 360 degree rotatable phone holder and 180 degree rotation head allows you to take vertical and horizontal photos by simply rotating the angle or take a picture of a wider vision. Composition is allowed to be much more diverse. Here's a closer look at the selfie stick tripod. Uh, this is actually three items in one. It gives you a hand grip for your phone or camera or a tripod or a selfie stick allowing you to use your phone or camera in a wide variety of ways. It fold downs very small, mini size, 7.05 ounces weight, 8.07 in folding length. This makes it very easy to carry around. Seven sections that allow you to go from 8 inches up to 40 inches. So it has a lot of adjustability. Suitable for all kinds of shooting equipment such as mobile phones, cameras, and GoPro. Has a GoPro adapter included. So you put your GoPro on it. Also has a one-fourth connector, a screw connector, which is very common. So you put all these on it too. Phone holder for most smartphones. Multi-angle adjustment for you to take great photos. So instead of using portrait mode for things that you should be using landscape mode on, uh, you can adjust that to take the proper photo or video. Mobile Bluetooth remote control makes it easy to shoot. Package list. You get the tr selfie tripod itself, uh, phone holder, Bluetooth remote control, GoPro adapters, and one USB cable. But enough about the Amazon posting. Let's have a look at the real thing. Here's the box it comes in. Nice picture on the front for cell phones, cameras, and digital cameras. Three in one selfie stick compatible with three. Different kinds of devices. Material, plastic, loom, alloy, weight, 0.48 pounds, max length, 40 inches. Attention, the remote shutter is only for smartphones, not for cameras. Service. Uh, thank you very much for purchasing our products. Bluetooth might not be compatible with some devices. Please contact us if you have any problems with the Bluetooth. You can contact us by log into your Amazon account, order detail, contact seller. That is where you could contact us for customer service. We will do our best to solve your problems. Thank you. User guide. 
right on the box. So here's your instructions. There's a switch on the right side of the remote button. Put it at on position. LED will flash and automatically start searching for Bluetooth device. On your device, the phone, selectable settings Bluetooth, activate the Bluetooth functionality on your device. Select Yunting from your list when it becomes available. Uh, if not, search for it again. The LED light on the remote shutter will become dark. Show pairing success on your device. You are now ready to take photos with your selfie stick. Enjoy. Switch the button to off position after you're done using it. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, cautions. If the Bluetooth remote shutter LED does not light up, please use the USB cable to charge it first. Charging time is about three hours before fully charged. When pairing a new device, please disconnect the previous device first, then do the pairing process again. Some Android devices can run the zoom in and zoom out functions with the Bluetooth remote shutter. Apple devices do not have that function. Please keep this instructions in case you need to contact us. Thank you. So here's your user guide. I guess you can cut this off or keep the box, whichever. Get it out of the box. Ta da. Oh, there's more stuff in here. <laughs> okay, well, this is obviously the phone holder right here. It's not one of those garbage spring ones either. It's a. Okay, it's a screw driven one, which is very nice. I prefer those over. The spring ones. So what you do is you stick your phone in here. Let me put it all the way up. Okay, so you stick your phone in here, like so, and then you screw it down nice and tight. And the reason why it's better to have one of these. it's far less likely to lose your phone so that's nice and tight in there you don't have to worry about it rattling out because of a spring so we will be testing this out but that's especially nice right here to have that screw because that'll keep your phone a lot safer than some junky spring so that's that's a plus already. Here we have the GoPro mount. Now, I already have some of these for my GoPro. It's always nice to have extras. I don't really use these mounts for my GoPro. The GoPro I'm referring to is, of course, the one I'm filming on right now. I have my GoPro mounted in a case that uses the screw mount because that's a lot more common, and I use it for uh, the camera arm that I use on this cart to do all my filming. So that has a screw mount on it. So this is nice. Um, I don't need it, but hey, you know, extra. Why not? Here is some more stuff. We have Young thing. Uh, stuff I can't read. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Selfie stick instruction manual. Okay. Well, we, we have more than just the box then. Alright, so you don't need to keep the box. It does come with an instruction manual. Uh, just as short as the instruction manual on the box. So you can keep the box or keep this or whatever you want to do. Has a product list, fairly self-explanatory. Uh, shows all the stuff that shows on the Amazon posting of what it's supposed to come with. Let's see. Here is the screw mount. Tightener for that. It's pretty nice. 
Nice legs on this too. Sweet. Of course you have the selfie stick Bluetooth control, which is right there. And the charging component. Nice and handheld. Let's put that back in there for now. Okay, so and this extends. Nice. All right. Pretty stiff, but that's exactly what you want. Feels very durable. Okay. Well, there we go. So, and this is the Bluetooth instructions for the remote control. need that. What we do need though is we need a camera to put on this thing because it's I can't film this with the camera I'm filming with and have it be on the mount at the same time. That doesn't work too well. So let's first let me get a camera to put on this. Pro Kodak Pix Pro SP1 camera I used to use, and it already has a screw mount right there. Let's get this rotated on there. So right away you have a huge amount of movement available to you. Uh, this is a ball and socket joint, so you have just tons and tons of angling that you can do, including that. So no matter how you want to angle the camera, you're pretty much covered. Yeah, you're not going to have much trouble at all get this thing put the way you want it to. And of course, once you get it put the way you want it to, you just tighten this so it stays there. And there you go. When you want it released, just untighten that, and then you can move it again. So that is very nice. And of course, the screw release is right here, so you just rotate that to pop off the camera whenever you want to pop it off. There we go. And then put it back on. You can rotate the camera, rotate the tripod, one or the other. Doesn't really matter which. Of course, like I showed you earlier, uh, it extends quite a bit. Let me extend it fully. There we go. So you see. You can make it reach quite a bit just on its own 
from its 8 inches all the way up to about the size of the top of my desk. And of course, if you were to put it up on top of something, like my desk, and extend its reach even further, just make it go even higher, depending on what you need. So it's very easy to use this as both a selfie stick and a tripod. And you can put back down to its original size. There we are. And then you can have that in there. And now you're back to a handheld model. So very, very, very useful. Very useful. Of course, for a lot of people these days, uh, they're not like me and they use cell phones, not so much cameras. So let's get this camera off of here. Okay, selfie sticks did mostly start off with phones, although you can use one of these with the camera, no problem at all. So to attach your phone, it's the same process. You're going to want to stick this onto the screw mount. Rotate that around. And voila! Now you have a tripod camera mount for your phone. Because most phones these days, they have really nice cameras in them. I mean, not as my, nice as a, a dedicated camera per se, but certainly nice enough that you can get off some really good video and photos. Just depends on how good your uh, camera on your cell phone is, but in most cases, you can take really good pictures and photos uh, with cell phones, and they even have pretty good light compensation, too. So, uh, we've, uh, we've come a long way when it comes to cell phone camera technology. And depending on whether you want the photo to be either landscape, like that, or portrait, like that, it has a support for that. So, you're covered either way. And, uh, obviously, you can use the 360 degree photo angle stuff with this too. Uh, you can point it in any direction you want. Uh, landscape or portrait, etc. You just tighten up this knob. Uh, if you need this to be longer, the same way as I showed you with uh, the camera. So you can have it be pretty tall off any, uh, any surface that you set it up on, whether it's the ground or a surface higher than the ground. And of course, uh, take it all the way back down to be a more desktop size. Or take it all the way back down to be a more desktop size. Now when you're operating a cell phone at least, uh, you have the extra option of using the camera functions which will allow you to be in front of the camera when need be. Not a very long USB charge cord for this. Uh, here it is. Not very long at all but you'll be plugging in here. 
then you'll take this and you'll plug it into a powered USB port or a USB port adapter like this one. And get yourself an AC outlet to plug that into. So we got power, we got power here. And we'll let that charge all the way up. Once the remote is done charging, the light will go dark. Get that pulled off of there. And we're going to turn it on. So that's in pairing mode. We can do Bluetooth connections. There it is, Young Ting. There we go. We have it connected. Let's see if it responds right from here. <laughs> uh, not unless you're on camera, so let's go to that. Took a picture. Took another picture. Took another picture. Okay. It did say that not all Android devices will respond the same. So for my phone, all the buttons just work as take a picture. But your results may differ. Still, that is an, a pretty awesome feature to have, especially when you're trying to set up photos that you want to play a part in and can't necessarily be as close to the camera. So that is quite nice indeed. And when you're done using the remote, you just turn it off and it stores right on the selfie stick. You'll probably want to turn it buttons inward uh, so that you're not accidentally pushing on the buttons, or you can have them buttons out, whichever you prefer. But it is pretty cool to have it right there. This is an excellent product. I totally recommend it. Buy one today.